Welcome to how to configure a delegated administrator in BMC Helix Remedy 4. Before we start on how to configure a delegated administrator, here is why you might need them. A delegated administrator can manage users, he can unlock users, assign profiles, assign or remove permission sets to the users, create public groups and manage them, log in as a user who has granted login access to the admin, and manage custom objects and customize them as well. That said, let's proceed on defining a delegated administrator. We log in into Remedy Force and we look at this user, Jim Fulton, we're going to make him a delegated administrator. As of now, if we log as him, we can see that he has no admin permissions. He cannot manage users, for instance. As an admin, you can usually do this. Let's switch back to my admin account to get started. From setup, enter delegated administration in the quick find box, then select delegated administration and click new. Give your group a name and the developer name will auto populate. Check the enable group for login access checkbox. If you would like that your delegated admins log in as other users in the role hierarchy. Then click Save. After your group is created, we need to add our delegated administrators. On their delegated administrators, we can click Add and we add the needed users. Afterwards, we click Save. Then we need to select which roles and subordinates they will be able to manage. For this example, I'm choosing the role CEO. This means that every other role under CEO is manageable. We select what are we going to be the profiles that they can assign to other users, as well as permission sets. We also have the option to let them assign public groups and to let them manage certain objects. I'm skipping this part for now. Once we finish these settings, it's time to verify that our delegated admin can perform his admin duties. If we log at him again and we go to setup then users, we will see that he now can manage users, create new users, reset passwords, or add many users at the same time. Let's create a new user. We fill the required data in the first column. And now in the second column, we can see that he is able to select the roles that we previously, previously defined, as well as the profiles. Let's click on save, and we have created our new user. If we scroll down to the permission set section, we can click on edit assignments, and we will also be able to add the predefined permission sets for our new user. Let's add them and click save. That's it. We have now a delegated administrator for our organization. This concludes for now the video on how to configure a delegated administrator in BMC Helix Remedy Force. Thanks for watching.